What's up gamers? Today I'm going to be talking in this tip about how to beat any zone in Madden NFL uh, football series here. This is going to transfer from Madden 13. It's also going to transfer to Madden 15. Uh, it works in Madden 25. Any year of Madden. And we're going to be going over uh, how to beat any zone every year. And we do this by different types of stretches okay now it can be an outside stretch or an inside stretch in this video we're doing an inside stretch you see we have three routes coming over the middle but they're all crossing at different depths okay so for a cover two you'll see that this uh, underneath little drag route to LaFell will do a nice job at beating the zone coverage against a cover three you'll see that Greg Olson's route uh, we'll do a decent job. You can click on and cut it off, and it'll be open against me, uh, zone coverage. Against the cover three, you should see that Ted Ted Ginn's route, after it kind of breaks up field, it will do a nice job at beating that zone because it's going to get up up field uh, a little bit more. Now, if you want a quicker read against the cover three, you can still actually fit this route in to Greg Olson right in behind the defender uh, as he breaks, but it is a little bit more dicier, and I like to say to kind of play it safe and, and just be patient in the pocket and, and, and hit the underneath routes. But uh, again, guys, this is how to beat any zone, and this works uh, across the board. It's a very basic concept, but you can do this to the outside as well. One way we like to do it to the outside is by taking Brandon LaFell. We like to place him on that smoke screen route because he's going to basically serve as a flat route. We then like to take... Uh, Ted Ginn or Greg Olson, whoever we want to use. For this example, we'll put Ted Ginn on a streak, and then we'll put Greg Olson on an out route, and you'll see that that's how we're going to do it. Now, what we like to do here is against the cover two zone, typically uh, this route over the top will be pretty good because it's a one-on-one -on -one with a safety over the top. What about against a cover three zone? Well, against a cover three zone, the streak will actually get pressed, and we're going to be able to fit this little out route in to Greg Olson. As you see, we wait for it to develop, and eventually it gets open uh, against the defense here. And then against a cover four, we like to check down to the underneath flat route because it does a really good job at hitting the defense where it's weak and getting a guy there that has uh, good running stats so that he can run after the catch is essential for having success against zone in Madden 25. But guys, as we progress and get ready for Madden 15, I want to stress to you different types of stretches, whether it be an inside stretch or an outside stretch where you're stretching the defense vertically and horizontally, that is how you beat zone coverage in any year of Madden. It's a real concept that is used over and over again in the NFL. It transfers directly to Madden, guys, spacing on the field, and this is how I think that you should be beating zone defense in Madden NFL 15.